Hello, welcome to another video. In this week's video, I'm going to be making a hoodie for my Build-A-Bear frog named Henry. He has this purple one I made a while ago, and I thought it was time to level him up to a Pokemon-inspired one. My favorite Pokemon is Wooper. He's such a cute little lad, and I thought he would match well with my friend Henry. This is a relatively easy project, so if you feel inspired, join me in the adventure. First, you want to gather all your supplies and lay them all out so they're ready. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors. These are my favorites. I chose to work in flea so it's super cozy. You'll need some dark navy blue and this lovely turquoise color. Also you'll need plenty of pins. This is my cute pin cushion I made out of a plushie my friend sent me from Japan. Also you'll need some felt. I found these cute glittery sheets and I knew I just had to use them. Also you'll need to grab a pattern. I made this pattern myself based on another hoodie I made for Henry. And finally, you'll need a sewing machine. This is mine. He's named Herbie. We've been through a lot together. Old, but reliable. Then this is the tedious part. Cutting all the many, many pieces. You'll need one of each torso piece, two sleeve pieces, four of the side hood pieces, two hood centers, and finally, you'll need one of each of the navy markings on Wooper's belly. So you'll want to help yourself out by folding the fabric so you can cut multiples at once. This will also help keep everything symmetrical and even. Pins are your friends for this portion, so don't be afraid to use many. I'm not good at using pins, but I'm trying to get better at using them more often. But I'm an impatient crafter, so taking the time to use them is always a feat for me. The last pieces to cut are the two pink felt shapes for the sides of the hood. So I just trace my pattern and marker, then cut two out and set them aside for later. This is how they ended up. I like how shiny they were. Now we finally get to sew. So first I sewed on the navy markings. This is way easier to do before you assemble the hoodie since it lays so nice and flat. Small organic shapes like this are hard to trace with the machine, so take it nice and slow and it should go smoothly. I like leaving the exposed edge. Gives the piece a bit of charm and texture to it, I think. Now for assembly. You'll want to take your front piece, turn it upside down so the markings are down, right sides together, and then sew only the shoulder seams. What I like to do as I sew is trim all the extra thread as I go. That way, at the end of my project, I don't have so much to trim at the end. Also keeps my work neat, I found. Now we can add the sleeves. This can be a bit tricky, but as long as you match up the tippy top apex of the shoulder seam, it'll be centered perfectly. You'll want to repeat for both sides. And after you get both attached, you'll have this funky plus sign shape. It looks weird now, but trust the process. It'll make sense soon. Now you'll want to fold your piece in half, right sides together again. Be sure to make sure that your front torso piece is in the front and the back torso piece is in the back. Once everything is lined up, you'll sew the underarm and side seams to create a shirt. Now, if you want to make a t-shirt, you can stop at this step and just finish the raw edges you have by giving them a quick hem. Since I'm making a hoodie, I only hem the bottom and sleeve edges. I realized as I was doing this, it would be way easier to do it flat before I did the underarm and side seams, so I recommend doing that first. This was a bit of a struggle. Here we go, we have a finished torso piece. You'll see my kind of wavy hems for my struggle, but I enjoy a little imperfection in everything, so it's okay. Time for the hood. You'll technically need to sew two since we're doing a lined hood. So you're gonna attach the hood center piece to two of your side hood pieces, then repeat by making another one. Now 
Now here is where it can be confusing. You'll want to put right sides together on your hoods, kind of inserting one into the other, like this. You'll do a seam around the front of the hood by the face. Turn it inside out, then do a top stitch to keep it nice and flat. It also gives the piece a more finished look too. It'll be easiest to attach the pink felt at this point since you can put your hand inside the hood. So I cut little slits inside the side of my finished hood, bent a tiny portion of the felt piece internally, then sewed into place repeating on the other side. Now we can move to finishing touches. Line up your finished hood with your torso piece making sure all three layers of fabric are stacked nicely and your right sides are together. I had to redo this part again since I didn't line it up properly the first time. So take it nice and slow, use pins, which I didn't, and do your best. We did it. Let's check in with our client and see how he likes his new hoodie. He looks so cute. Comment down below what your favorite Pokemon is. I'd love to hear it. Also don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of my videos. I mainly draw, but I want to branch out into more crafting videos, so be sure to keep your eyes peeled. Check out my Instagram, Froggy Sprout, to see more of my work. Thanks for watching.